Welcome to Nitro, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, the Hardcore Championship. Goldberg versus Bret Hart, Jim Neidhart and the Disciple. Three-on-one Hardcore Handicap match. And ladies and gentlemen, whoever wins that match will decide the stipulation for this Sunday's Super Brawl World Title match. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the action. No time wasted here. Said we've got that big main event match tonight. But we are starting off this time the other way round, man. We had Lex Luger versus Scott Steiner. Luger made Steiner tap, man. No, no, he didn't make him tap. He did beat him, though. I'm forgetting the matches, man. <laughs> I'm forgetting my own show. Ladies and gentlemen, Sting this week will go one-on-one -on -one with Rick Steiner. The Super Brawl is this Sunday coming, where Steiner, the Steiner brothers, will face Sting and Luger for those WCW Tag Team Championships. But tonight, it will be Sting and that little pit bull, Rick Steiner. And well, there's the music. The music of the black and white, the NWO. And there's the Steiners. Well, Scott Steiner, he failed to look out last week, I'm sure. <laughs> Doesn't help that I was drunk last night. <laughs> Take me a while to do this video today. But anyway, that will not stop us. Just gives it that little extra edge. Well, Rick Steiner in one-on-one -on -one competition here. Steiners are back together. And will Rick Steiner do against Sting as Sting just goes for him, man. He wastes no time. Goes straight for him. Sting and Luger, don't forget, this This whole thing was supposed to be a rematch with the Outsiders, but the Outsiders decided, nah, we've got somebody else that can have a rematch. That, of course, is the Steiners. That's obviously how they got them to join the NWO. As Rick Steiner now just said, Sting flying out of the ring. Big Papa pump there on the outside. And you see Rick Steiner, man, he's got the NWO colours. He's got Sting here. And where's he taking him? As he sends him right into the barricade there. As he's laying into him on the outside. And... Oh, man. Off that ring post there. Did you hear that? And now... An inverted suplex in the outside, man. God, Rick Steiner's letting loose on Sting. Got to say, this would be an upset if Rick Steiner pulled a victory over Sting one on one. As he sends him into the ring post again. And Sting, though, finally able to get back around here. And Steiner sends him back into the ring. Starting to look like this is going to end up a double count out. As Sting rolls round there. Get caught, though, man. Rick Steiner is all over him here. He's got him up there, and Sting, though, kicks him off. And Sting drops him. Flying through the air. And now he has got Rick Steiner down. And Rick Steiner, man, he was all over him there. Sting, ironically, the man dressed in black and white, but he's against the NWO. Always weird. And, oh, and he dropped him there. A little bit funky looking, but he got him. As soon as Kevin Nash said the NWO was returning, Sting was the first man to step up to try and stop it. That was not the case. He helped put a dent in it, but he could not stop it. The NWO has now grown into pretty much nearly half the roster. Back to the size that it once was before. As 
Steiner there caught and picks him up, drops him down. And Rick Steiner now sends him into the corner. As again now trying to get him up. And the ropes tried this earlier. You may be thinking Frankenstein out here. And there it is. As he jumps into the cover, hooks the leg. Sting though, man, not going down easy. See, we have got oh, we've got plenty of matches lined up tonight, man. Stevie Ray is scheduled to get into the ring. Scott Steiner up in the apron though, but Sting and oh no 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 Sting. Thought he'd been caught there, but that's not the case. And Sting. And see, Super Brawl is this Sunday. The neck breaker there. And well, Sting is stalking Rick Steiner here. As he goes behind the Scorpion Death Drop. And just like that, this one could be all over. And no, oh, Scott! And Scott Steiner! Sting sitting up, can't believe it! He cannot believe it! As Scott Steiner pulled the referee out of the ring. Steiner though, well, Sting I should say, right back onto it. Scott Steiner's still out here, man. The referee not getting rid of him, are you kidding me on? And Rick though, man, back into it. And Sting, man, had him down. And now just like that, Rick Steiner's back to it. As Rick now. God, man. And oh, Sting, though, man. He's going to keep giving the fight back. That's for damn sure. As we've got him down again here. Cannot believe Scott Steiner's still out here, man. Referee should have ejected him. And Sting now. And, oh, there's a stinger splash. And, oh, big elbow right to the back. And he stomps him right in the back as well. And look at Sting, stalking him again. And Sting, for the second time, scorpion death drop. As he hooks the leg, and Steiner's up on the apron. Twice! Twice now! You've got to be kidding! Is Oh, and Rick Steiner! The couple of elbows there! And he throws Sting to the ground! And look at Rick Steiner, man! Falling back to the corner! No wonder! Is Rick Steiner now? He's got staying up in his shoulders here as he drops him right on the top rope. And oh, and Sting. Oh, elbowed out there. As Rick Steiner fires him right across the ring into the corner. Sting though, plants him with a DDT. And Sting, go for another cover here. How much has Rick got left? Oh, apparently still a little. Rick Steiner, man, tensing up a little bit there. Sting, though, catches him. And now Sting up onto the shoulders. And good God, the strength of Sting there. And Sting now. Man, can you believe this? Sting has had this match won. As he throws him into the corner. And Sting screaming right in his face. As Sting now plants him, man. Face first right off that canvas. And Sting is just taking it to him here. Rick Steiner falls into that corner. 
And there's Sting with another Stinger Splash. And he falls into a cover, Rick Steiner. Looks like he might be busted. And good God, he kicked out. How did he kick out? I thought it was over. As Steiner, oh God, right to the rib cage there. And Sting though sends him to the outside. Look at Scott Steiner. And Sting doesn't care, man. He is feeling it. He has got the buzz. He is ready to go. I can't believe Scott Steiner's actually still out here. As well, gets caught. And the Scorpion Death Drop again. The dominance. And Scott Steiner's got the referee. <laughs> oh my god. That is unbelievable. It's an oh shot there. There's a referee. And the referee sees the steel chair. He's holding, he's swinging that chair about his. Wait a minute. Look at Rick Steiner. Rick Steiner. The Steiner recliner's locked in. Wow, I didn't even see how he got that there. But he's got it. And it is locked into Sting. And well, he had to let go of it there. And Scott Steiner has finally been ejected, man. The referee saw that chair lying there as well and decided to get rid of him. See that big move there, man. It's Rick Steiner now. And yeah, cover, man. This would be some injustice. And Sting gets the shoulder up. Good God, man. What a way to open the show. And Sting sends him into the corner again. As and whoa, Rick Steiner though catches him, man. Man, these guys are gonna go at it. Tag team action this Sunday. As Rick Steiner's got him again, and a third time he's landed that move. Seeing Rick Steiner in control right now, you can't help but think, man, what an injustice this would be if he actually somehow pulled a victory here. Sting's had the match won three times as he catches him with that jawbreaker again. And, oh, goes low with a the kick. There's another one. As Sting now, what's he doing here? And it's a powerbomb. Jackknife style there, man. Shades of Kevin Nash. And, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. And it's a tombstone. A pile driver, man. Good God. He's not going for the cover, though, man. I think he's decided he's going to lay some punishment. And that's exactly what he's doing. Scott Steiner's been ejected from ringside. And look at Stein just rolls him over right into that cover. And good God, Rick Steiner kicked out. I know, Sting's like, screw it. <laughs> this would be the fourth time in this match. And he's got a scorpion death drop. Hooks the leg into the cover. Oh my god. You have got to be kidding. How did Rick Steiner kick out of that as he shoves him off? And catches him. Oh, big suplex there. How the hell? As, and oh, now it's him showing the strength. And oh my God, he hasn't half shown the strength. And drops him. How the hell did Rick Steiner kick out? How in what world did he do that there? Unless he was close to the ropes. And Sting though, man, all over him here. This is not what I expected from the opening contest, I'll tell you that right now. And Rick Steiner though, man, still fighting back. He is that little pit bull as he's right under him here. Scoops him up. Sting though. And Sting now.
This is unreal, man. And Sting's just getting violent now. He's look at Sting. He's like, what have I got to do? Back up to the feet now. As he's got, he's got him round again for another one of these pile drivers. God, man. And he is busted open and all. Oh, he's not even going for the pin. He's not even going for the pin. As he's waiting for him to get up to his feet. And the scorpion death drop again. Good God, man. Rick Steiner has been pummeled in this match. And it's over. This match could have been over so many times because Rick Steiner didn't look like he was kicking out a couple of times before. What an opening contest, man. Scott Steiner getting so heavily involved in this match. See, Sting landed that so many times he had the match won. Stinger splashes, Scorpion death drops, tombstones just so many times. But the point is, Sting wins. Luger won last week. WCW World Tag Team Championships this Sunday at the Super Brawl. It will be those two versus the Steiners. Can the Steiners become Tag Team Champions once again? Well, here comes the Nature Boy. And well, he's dressed for action. He's got his he's got his gear on, man. The knee pads are on, the boots are on, they're tied up and ready to go. What's the nature boy up to? In life I have been told no many, many times, and you know what I do? I break their jaws, and tonight will be no different. Cut Henning! Tonight you will do the match you refused to do last week. Me and you, tonight, if you've got the balls to get in the ring with the nature boy. I don't know how many times I've come out here and said tonight's my night only to be passed by because that so-called perfect man won't do what needs to be done this Sunday at Super Brawl it will be me and Larry Zabisco versus Kurt Henning and the macho man Randy Savage but tonight I want you Henning man come get this television title there are a lot of wrestlers in the back who think they are better than me well I say it's time to put up or shut up Kurt Hennig thinks he's so perfect. Well, guess what? To be the man, you got to beat the man. And by God, kid, I'm the man. Kurt Hennig needs to know when it's time to ascend to the next level. And it's clear the window is now so... Tonight, I will be in this ring later tonight with that television title in my hand. Do you have the balls to face me? I'm surprised that he backed out of the match last week. I was very surprised that he backed out of it. Got Randy Savage to take his place and he couldn't get the job done either. Tonight, have the balls, have the guts and prove how perfect you think you are well Ric Flair with an open challenge to Kurt Henning tonight to come and get that television title from Ric Flair will he accept the challenge Well, it's time for some cruiserweight action. And, well, there he is, Jushin Thunder Liger. 
this Sunday at Super Brawl. He will challenge for that Cruiserweight Championship in a triple threat match. Dean Malenko somehow once again slithering his way into another title match. That attack he done on Liger last week tonight, it will be tag team action. And Justin Thunder Liger will team with the Cruiserweight Champion, Ray Mysterio Jr. He is the cruiserweight champion. Although he doesn't have his belt. <laughs> okay. I keep meaning to give him a theme music of some sort, but I keep forgetting. Well, they're going to be opponents this Sunday. They're tag team partners tonight. And there's Psychosis. Now this man would like to get into the Cruiserweight title picture, that's for damn sure. Right, not quite yet. And the man of a thousand holds, Dean Malenko. I don't know why there's a space between the K and the O. Who makes these? But anyway, Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko, obviously, in that triple threat match this Sunday. He hopes to get that chance, that shot. Or not that shot, he's got the shot. He's hoping to get that championship. But it's tag team action tonight. Malenko got involved in the match between Psychosis and Liger last week. But Liger was still able to get the victory. Don't know what that says about Psychosis. And it will be a triple threat match this Sunday. That's Jushin Liger, man, taking it to Psychosis right now. Psychosis, though, arm drags him down. And into the tie-up here. Oh, Liger, man, just shoved him right back. And there's a drop kick, man. Cruiserweight action only here on WCW. And, oh, right off the corner there. As he scoops behind now into the abdominal stretch and oh, just grabbing the rib cage like that. God, man. That would not be a fun feeling. Now at the front face lock there. Shot to the back. Looks like he's going to send him into the corner here. And whoa, Psychosis though, able to switch it out. As Psychosis quickly sends him to the opposite side. And there's the tag to the man. A thing holds Malenko's barking orders here. What they're going for here. And oh, the double team. What a double team maneuver that was. And God, Malenko just launching his body weight right onto Liger. And now into that neck wrench. Good God. Such a brutal move. He is the man of a thousand holds. If you didn't think one of those holds was a neck wrench, you've got to be kidding. It's Malenko now, man, showing what he can do here. There's, oh, no, wait, Liger catches him with the arm drag. And he goes, he tags in the cruiserweight champion, man. Rey Mysterio Jr. is in. As Malenko, though, gets right to him, scoops him up off the ground, slams him right into the canvas. As Rey, though, going to continue to hit back here. As Rey taking these low shots to the, the leg here. As Ray now going up high. Dean Malenko crawling away though. And into the corner now. And it looks like we're going to see as Ray now. And, and wait a minute, it looks like they're going to go for the same thing here. And <laughs> show them how it's done. Oh man, that Frankenstein right into a power bomb. A little shot to the arm there. There's Liger now. God, did you see the height on that moonsault? And right into the cover, man. Hooks that leg. Malenko, though, pushes him off. And Liger now. The head scissors. Switches it around. 
Pulls his head right out of his ass. Now in at the front face lock. And then, God, the uppercut there. And now into the corner. And, oh, big boot there. As goes behind here. And, God, just folded him up. And now launches Malenko right back to the corner. And there's another tag. Is what we're going to see now. He's going to use extra force on Ray to just sandwich him right in the corner. And now Ray. Oh, right to the lower back, man. The cross body. Cruiserweights are letting loose tonight. It's just in Thunder Liger and Rey Mysterio here looking really good. And look at Malenko, man. He wants to make a tag. He wants out of the ring. He's <laughs> getting his ass whooped. And Psychosis back in now. Psychosis and Rey Mysterio. History in that one. As, oh, what a power bomb that was. Now, big right hand. As, oh, Psychosis going round and round. Psychosis now up onto that middle rope. Drops a big elbow. Man, the cruiserweight's been on fire in this one. And now jumps right up, scoops him right back down. And oh, try to stop that tag there. Liger wanting tag back in. Psychosis though with a snap suplex. And oh, look at Ray. Just dived right through him. Got the tag. Liger's in. Takes him down with a drop kick. And another one. And, oh, went for a clothesline. He ducked, though. Oh, he caught the leg. And there's the clothesline he was looking for. And now, and oh, he's going to stretch him. And right up he goes, man. Vintage cruiserweight move. That, whoa, look at that, though. Psychosis, what a way to get out of that. And, oh, goes for a chop there. Out of that one, though. And, oh, wait, Psychosis caught that. Arm drags him right down. And, oh, there was nothing high flying about that. That was just a big slap. But this is... Oh, lovely move. Loving this match. This episode's quite good. Uh, into the corners. Malenko wants back in again. And what are we going to see now, man? Double team again. Irish whip and oh, double elbows, man. Takes him down. Look at Liger, though, straight away with a jawbreaker. And, oh, went for a DDT. Oh, lovely by Malenko. And now, scoops him right up in the air. Straight back down. Big reverse fallen DDT. And now... And here it is. And there it is, man. A tiger bomb. And, oh, going to the leg there. So I thought he would have went for the cover, but he didn't do it. Leg up. And, oh, still not getting caught. As now. And Malenko. Oh, got him here. And a fisherman suplex. And he goes, makes a tie. Liger jumps over, tags the cruiserweight champion. And he's in. But, oh, Psychosis just caught him. Liger's down on the outside. Is Psychosis now up onto the shoulders. And, oh, down goes Ray. Hooks the leg. Liger's down on the outside. And Psychosis just pinned the champion. My God, man, what a match. Some high flying in this, man. Look at these moves, man. This was crazy. Look at this one, man. I love this. This big front flip there. That was just crazy. A tiger bomb there. And then it was Psychosis, though. It caught Ray. 
And the other three men, the other three men are in a triple threat match for the Cruiserweight title, but Psychosis is the one that pinned the champ here tonight. Well, Psychosis will take the victory and build up to more. Well, it's scheduled for a triple threat Cruiserweight Championship this Sunday at the Super Brawl. Well, okay, time for some more action right here on Nitro. As we are about to see the return to the ring of Stevie Ray, and there is the new United States Champion, Kevin Nash. He won that belt last week. My God, there was some interfering in that match. Scott Hall made the challenge tonight. He's challenged Stevie Ray to a match. Hey, what a night we've had so far, man. <laughs> a couple of crazy matches. As there's Booker T, and there he is in the Harlem Heat attire. And Stevie Ray, man, he is ready. He is ready to get back in the ring tonight. Stevie Ray and Scott Hall, one on one. This Sunday it will be a tag team match. It will be the return of Harlem Heat versus the Outsiders. As look at Scott Hall, though, straight away takes him down. The NWO man, they have been. Playing some mind games. <laughs> oh man, that slap in the face. He's just choking him now as well. And Scott Holt. Hey, so far tonight, it's not been a, it's not been an NWO night so far. Rick Steiner failed against Sting. He only took an ass whooping off a of Sting. Even though Scott Steiner kept getting involved. As uh, over the ropes there, and oh god, don't see Scott Hall use his feet very often, but there you go. And oh, caught there as Stevie Ray now up onto the shoulders and drops him down, man. Some mowing drop and a drop kick. Don't forget tonight's main event as well, man. Hardcore Championship on the line in a three-on-one handicap match. Goldberg versus Bret Hart, Jim Neidhart and the Disciple. And whichever side wins will decide the stipulation for the World Heavyweight Championship match this Sunday. As Whoa, wait for that big Harlem sidekick there. Didn't connect as Scott Hall catches him with a right hand. And now sends him straight to the outside. Knocks him down. Look at Nash. Wasting no time getting involved. But look at Stevie Ray, man. He doesn't care. He's back in action, man. And he wants to take it to them. And no oh, one of the steps. And he is all over Scott Hall. Nash, there's only... If he touches him, it's a disqualification. And, oh, Russian leg sweep. And look at Nash, man. He's trying to, he's wanting to get involved in some kind of way, as always. And, oh, and he gets sucked up right into those steel steps there. They need to get back in the ring here. And, oh, the knee there. And now Stevie Ray elbowing out, man. Just constant here. And <laughs> there you go. Fighting on the outside. A double count out. Good God. So much for the return to the ring of Stevie Ray. Well, this Sunday, Harlem Heat versus the Outsiders. My God, man. Just brawling. Brawling all over the place. As, wait a minute. 
Oh, wait a minute, we got Bret Hart and Goldberg backstage right now. And oh, and a cheap shot by Bret. And Goldberg fighting back. And we've got Goldberg and Bret. They're in the main event tonight. They're in the main event this Sunday. As God, Bret is. God, man. We've got a brawl going on in the back here. It's good God, man. These guys are in the. Good God. Goldberg taken down as Brett. And wait a minute, Brett's got a steel chair. Brett's got a steel chair here as Goldberg getting up to his feet. And God, man, right off the dome. And go, oh, he's just right off the midsection. And go off the back of the leg. And Bret Hart obviously wants to be the one to win tonight. It has nothing to do with getting a, a belt or anything like that. This is about this is obviously about weakening Goldberg for later tonight. That's exactly what this is. As Bret now oh, on a suplex man on the floor. And you can hear Goldberg grunting. As again, man, he's just smashing the he's smashing the knee of Goldberg. As Goldberg trying to get back up and oh god. And Bret Hart is whipping him right now. Absolutely whipping him. And and oh there's a low blow. And there's not been a shortage of him trying to do that recently, has there? Oh god. Goldberg's to defend that hardcore championship tonight. As oh, off the back. And again, man, he's just smashing the knee. Just aiming for it. God. This is ridiculous, man. As Brett now has got him up. And Brett had gone a pale driver. God damn, man. Goldberg is to compete in a three-on-one handicap match tonight. What the hell, man? All right, DDP made the challenge tonight. He wants Jera. After what happened the other week, man, with these bloody interferences and that it's as if Buff Bagwell and Jeff Jarrett were just playing tricks on him trying to mess with him as wait a minute there's there's Bagwell and Jarrett there's Bagwell and Jarrett oh god and the referee rings the bell I don't know why DDP became the target and oh he went for a diamond cutter Oh, but oh god, Jeff Jarrett almost get caught there. And well, Jeff Jarrett, man, he's got the upper hand right now, but well, he's going to, isn't he? If he attacks somebody from the behind in the weight of the ring. He sends him into the corner here. And Jeff feeling pretty confident right now. Shots to the lower back there. Jeff Jarrett now up on that middle rope. Paul Lance, a big tornado DDT. And look at him swaggering about, man. Feeling confident, isn't he? And, oh, this takes him down again. He is all over him right now. Good God. And, oh, God, I think he's busted. I think he's busted open. And Jeff Jarrett's loving it, man. He's feeling great right now. And oh, God, my stomp right to that open wound. As Jarrett now. And oh, the knee. And oh, the neck breaker. And oh, wrong button. He's waiting for him to get up to his feet here. He's just picking on him. 
as he's got a hold of him here up as oh with ddp able to catch him there and a knee there Diamond Dallas Page man needed that. And oh he's losing it. He drops an elbow. As Page. Oh and he got caught. And do And Page. As he rolls to the outside. Jarrett man. Obviously thought. It's him and Bagwell having a meeting out here, but P P DDP goes. I didn't mean to call him P. He sends him up and oh, into the barricade. Jeff Jarrett pretty much suckered him in there. He just dropped him right on that barricade there. See, I don't know why DDP's became this target. As all well, up onto the shoulders here. And down again. Page is all over him right now. As do oh. And do oh, right to the eyes. And no oh, wait a minute. And do oh, And a low blow. The referee didn't see it. The referee didn't see it. The low blow by Jeff Jarrett as he goes behind now. And the stroke takes him down. And oh God, man, off of a low blow. Come on. And Jeff Jarrett, man, he sneak attacks him at the start. He uses a low blow. They're just been ganging up, man. Don't know why Diamond Dallas Pages became a target to these guys. Buff Bagwell and Jeff Jarrett just decided to attack him. And a victory here tonight, man. And oh, wait a minute. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it a tiny page? Wait a minute. It's Canyon. There's Canyon. Chris Canyon. Coming to help. <coughs> coming to help his buddy. He's coming to help his pal. Diamond Dallas Page. As Canyon and Buff Bagwell, man, he is not going near. Canyon, he is staying away. And, oh, and he plants him. DDT. Is he going to go for the flatliner? Is he going to look for it? Canyon coming to back up DDP. And oh, and no, a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> How does he like it? <coughs> and Canyon. Canyon coming to help Diamond Dallas Page. My voice is going, by the way. <laughs> and Chris Canyon just helped and saved Diamond Dallas Page. It looks like the Jersey Triads might be back together here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Ric Flair's ready for a match. Here's the music. And Kurt Hennig is invisible. More glitches. Love this game. Well, he's been accompanied to the ring by Macho Madness. And Rick Rood. Well, there he is. He's in the ring, so I guess he's accepting the challenge. And there's the television champion. This Sunday, it will be Rick Flair and Larry Zabisco versus... Kurt Henning and Randy Savage. But right now, Flair done that promo earlier tonight. He told Kurt Henning, you call yourself perfect. 
Bet you don't have the balls to get in the ring with me. Well, here we go. The match that was meant to happen last week, but Kurt Hennig backed out of it. Randy Savage took his place. Randy Savage ended up getting beat off the Nature Boy, and tonight it is Nature Boy taking on the former horseman, Kurt Hennig. As here we go into the tie-up. And scoops behind. This is more personal for Ric Flair. For Kurt Hennig, it's all about trying to get that television title back. But for Flair, it's about getting his hands on the man who walked out on the horseman. As goes behind. And oh, slamming Flair down there. Right into the headlock. And, oh, a shot there. Irish Whip comes back, bounced off each other there. You see Macho Madness on the outside with Rick Rudd. And, oh, Flair trips him down there. And a shot right to the knee. He made Randy Savage tap last week. Got to think he would love to do that tonight. And Zabisco will be looking forward to getting his hands on the two of them this Sunday as well. And oh, Flair, a taste of his own medicine there. The big chop. And now Flair throwing Kurt Hennig down. He jumps into the cover here. And he pushes him off. Now back up. Hennig goes around here, wrenching that arm. Flair, though. He's just too good as the nature boy. And lovely move there. As back up. And a big right hand. You saw Flair shaking his wrist after that. Must have hit him that hard. And the atomic drop drops an elbow right after it, man. Flair is in control. And he's right into the back here. And oh, look at Savage. And look at Flair, he's going after him. He's like, this, screw this. And he saw Rick Rude come from him there. But that moment right there has gave Kurt Hennig enough time. As no, Flair turned it on him there. Just flattened him out. Well, he almost had the opportunity. Flair is in control. As Flair now. So he's going to drop that knee. And he does. And there's Rudd now up on the apron. It's doing he's up. And, oh, come on. And cut Hennig, man. And, oh, God. And you can see the bit of blood coming out. But that's what that, that's what that knee drop does. As Flair. And Flair now. Thinking figure four. He's right at the rope. So if he just reaches out, the ropes are right there. They are right there. And yes, there you go. And oh, he's trying to get the attention here. Flair is not caring. As, oh, cut man. Able to get that little shot in. And oh, big arm drag there. He was lucky to be right at the ropes, man. Or this could have been over. Kurt Hennig, man, right on to him here. Ah, is that middle rope? What's he thinking of doing here? What is he planning? Ah, is... Oh, lovely drop kick. Perfect, you could say. And he's on to him here, man. But there's been plenty of little bits of interference. But watch out for Sabisco because he's just as likely to do it. And he scoops Flair up, though. Flair, though, catches him out with the arm drag. Jumps right into that cover, though. And cut Herring, man, out of it instantly. And, oh, straight for that open wound. And now up onto the shoulders. And he's going to drop him face first, man. Oh, man, Flair is going for that wound, man, isn't he? As oh, wait. He's got the leg, he's got the leg. And, oh, eats the canvas. Oh, shot to that arm there. 
As and oh, oh he's setting him up here. And oh, takes him down, man. And there's Zabisco now. And Zabisco trying to get the attention. Cut Henny, cut Henny, not buying it though. It's all went for a shot there, but Flair right under. And oh, the elbow. As always, scoops him up. Flair though, over the back. Reverse DDT. As he falls into the cover, man, that wound is well opened on his head. It's Flair. And oh, the shot to the midsection there. As all scoops under. And a backdrop into the cover. And Flair out after one. Watch out for that NWO man. And oh, wait a minute. And Kurt Hennig's stalking him here. He's stalking him here. And he's got him. He's going to go for that perfect plex. And it connects. But look at Zabisco. He's got the referee. What goes around comes around. Well, oh, Kurt Hennig. Angry. So angry he was running the ropes. Oh, man. And Kurt Hennig obviously thought he had it. His flare pushes him off. As Flair now, oh, scoops him up, and a pale driver. Seeing you've got guys like Flair and Zabisco fighting the NWO themselves. You've got guys like Goldberg fighting the NWO himself. Guys like Booker T and Stevie Ray trying to fight them themselves. If all these guys could just work together, we would have a team to fight these guys. But they, they don't do it. They're all trying to do it themselves. As Flair drops that knee again. It's probably opened that wound even more now. If the WCW locker room could just join forces and work together, we would be sorted. We would be fine. We would have an army to fight back with. But they all keep trying to do it themselves. As Hennig... Catches Flair with a right. As picks him up and drops him right in a backbreaker there. As he falls right into the cover. I think this is just more of giving him a little break. As Flair shoves him right off. God, the blood off his head went down on his shoulder now. On his bicep. And oh, the scrape to the face there. Was for a drop kick. Nobody home. As Flair catches him. And he's not next to the ropes this time. And down he goes. The figure four leg lock is locked in. And I think this one could be all over. And there it is. Ric Flair teaches him the lesson tonight. And there you go. This is the one that Busted him open. And there you go. He had the match won. But Zabisco. Beating the NWO at their own game. But it was that figure four leg lock. That got the victory. It'll be tag team action this Sunday. But if there's two men. That have been taking it. To the NWO. Ric Flair's been one who's been very successful at it. He's still got that television title. He has been taking it to the NWO. And they will do it again this Sunday. When Ric Flair and Larry Zabisco face Kurt Hennig and Macho Madness Randy Savage. Oh, as always, man. Entrances, right? Here we go. Main event time. Hardcore Championship on the line. It's three on one. It's Hardcore Rules. Jim Neidhart, the fun. Look at that, man. Went straight for Brett. And Goldberg, man. He retained it in a handicap match last week as Neidhart pushes him off and Jim Neidhart drops him down. And forget that. Don't forget, this is more than just to do with the Hardcore Championship. 
of the Harp team. Won this match is Beefcake, Beefcake, Disciple taken out and Brett down again. As Goldberg is doing what he does, as he is all over Nightheart right now. And oh god, man. As he is all over these guys. And down he goes again. And Goldberg's in the corner. Goldberg's in the corner. As Goldberg lands the spear. And he's continuing to keep these guys off the apron. As he's got Neidhart. He's got him up. Are we going to see a jackhammer? As he hooks the leg. But there he is, Disciples in the ring. And again, man. Continuing to take it to these guys. Good God, man. Goldberg is on fire right now. As Goldberg's back to the corner again on Jim Neidhart. As Goldberg with another spear. And Goldberg doing what he does. Whoop ass. And oh, there's Brett with a cheap shot there. As Goldberg trying to keep these guys away. As Neidhart now managed to get a shot on him. And well, there's the tag. And Brett is in. As. And oh, right hand. The Irish whip. And oh my god, what a spear! What a spear to Bret Hart as he hooks the leg. But oh, Bret was able to get out of that one. And oh, as he continues to go at these guys. But oh god, caught. Caught by an old guy. He just shrugged that one right off. And he's got the disciple. And he suplexes him in. As Brett though, on to him here. And oh, the backbreaker. And now that, and oh god, it's all splitting off now. And god, look at him. Trying to get into this here, but he's just outnumbered. If Bret Hart's team wins this match, he gets to decide the stipulation. And, oh, and he's sent off the ring post. As Goldberg hits out his knee. And, oh, and a spear! And the spear just dropped him. As Goldberg is pulling a table apart. And door off the table. And oh, Goldberg caught though and suplexed in the outside. Goldberg man try to fight as best as he can right now and door off that ring post and now it's hot and now Nightheart sent off the rainbow but Brett catches him man DDT as Brett and, and oh, there's the low blow. Don't forget that attack earlier tonight. I'm surprised Goldberg's even 100% right now. And now, oh, and a suplex on the outside. The odds are not in his favour. As Brett. When he put a sharpshooter in here. 
He can't. He can't take this, man. He can't take the pain. He can't take it. And I don't believe it. Brett's team gets it. After Goldberg doing all that fighting back. But he was outnumbered from start to finish. I mean, he was all over Jim Neidhart. I mean, look at this big spear. It was false count anywhere, which I don't actually think it was. But then, of course, that big low blow that we see Brett utilise so many times now. And his sharpshooter was put in. As the referee comes in and Brett, and well, Brett grabs the, the Hardcore Championship. Well, Jim Neidhart with a look on his face as if, uh, is that not mine? And well, Brett has taken the hard, well, he's uh, technically, he was the man that got the, the victory. So technically, he did win the match. He's taken that Hardcore title away from, from Jim Neidhart. And wait a minute, Brett's back in the ring. Brett, no, go, Goldberg's back in the ring, I meant to say. It's Goldberg. And the Goldberg just dropped, man. Goldberg getting back into the ring there. As Jim Neidhart definitely wasn't the happiest. Oh, God. And oh. God, man, they are picking apart here. And Goldberg is being beaten down. He's got a world heavyweight title match this Sunday. Just dragging him about the ring here. And look at that. Look at the disciple, man, going, going for that leg. The leg that was obviously damaged. Earlier tonight, with the steel chair shots by, by Brett. Oh God! Uh, Goldberg, though, man, shoving him off. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, and Goldberg. And Goldberg just skipped him up and drops him down. And there you go, Disciple Man managed to get a little shot in there as Neidhart. Neidhart's come up and drops him. That big power slam is the Disciple now. And God, man. And this is just a beat down, as I said. He managed to get a shot in in the Disciple there. But then Jim Neidhart just changed that about here. As, oh God, you see that boot there. As Brett picking him back up here. And Brett, well, he's, going to, he's going to pile drive him again, isn't he? And God, another pile driver. An absolute beat down by these guys, man. An absolute beat down. As Bret Hart is grabbing a microphone. And ladies and gentlemen, Bret Hart. This Sunday at the Super Brawl, my World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line, Goldberg. And the stipulation... It will once again be a three on one, no disqualification handicap match. Well, come on, how the hell is Goldberg supposed to win the title if he needs to go through three on one once again? How is he supposed to win that match? Is, what's that? Wait a minute. And no way! No way, look who's in the ring! It's the Dungeon of Doom! The Dungeon of Doom are here! You've got to be kidding! Is the Disciple! The Disciple! Jackhammer! 
Is no, oh, he's trying to lift up Vader, but that's not happening. And Vader, in that big. Oh God, man! Look at these shots. As he is all over Bret Hart right now. What are we seeing? As Goldberg is back in his feet, taking shots. As Bret is sent into the corner. As watch out, and the shark just dropped him. As Bret is being thrown about this ring. And oh, Vader's got Bret. Goldberg is just watching on. Oh! And Vader has got Bret Hart, the world champion. Then he bombs him. The Dungeon of Doom has just saved Goldberg. <laughs> My God, Goldberg dropped the Disciple. Look at Naito. He tried to lift Vader there. That wasn't happening. And then look at Big. John Tenta, a.k.a. The Shark, just dropped that big booty right on Jim Neidhart. And then it was Brett's turn. He got chokeslammed. He got powerbombed. The Dungeon of Doom has just saved Goldberg. And Vader is in Goldberg's face. He's letting him know, you've got backup. Backup has arrived. Bret Hart is furious. He's already made the match this Sunday, three on one. Something tells me this Sunday it will not be three on one anymore. The World Championship is on the line. And oh my God, Goldberg is no longer outnumbered. Not anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, this Super Brawl is coming. The World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line and the Dungeon of Doom will have Goldberg's back. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe and I will see you this Sunday at the Super Brawl.